I think it's finally time to check out the cemetery, but let's see. What can, can I what can I check off here? Still have to do that. Haven't done that. Did that. Can't check that off. Check. Still have to do that. Okay. Hey! <gasps> You're not Savannah. No, but you must be Wade. Is she with you? Are you the new assistant? What's his name get canned or something? Logan? I don't know. All I know is that she thought I'd be the right person for the case. She's not coming. What did you just say? She said she was sorry to send me, but nothing could get her to come here. I never took her for a coward. Well, she seemed pretty scared of the ghosts. Ghosts? No, that ain't it. She's scared of seeing me. Okay. I hope Savannah understands the mess she dropped you in. What kind of mess? Take a look around and then you tell me. Who's more welcome here? The living or the dead? Anyway, Savannah had a package sent. I guess it must be for you. It's up in the house. From what I understand, the Thornton family business is very successful. <laughs> yep. We got money and all the trouble that buys. Who else is here? Clara. That's Jessalyn's mother. Colton, her fiancé. Anyone else? Depends what you mean by anyone. Any other alive or verifiably real people? No. What do you think of Colton? I do not like that shifty little punk. But I have said that about all Jesse's boyfriends. With him, I mean it a little extra. Something's crooked with the two of them together. I don't know if she can see it or not. Who runs the family company? Clara. Do you think that's fair? No. Would you like to run the company? Good, sweet nonsense, no. Do not even imply that I'm after that to anyone. Why aren't you in the house? I'm only on the island because Jessalyn's missing. Nothing's gonna get me in that house. What's Clara's relationship to the rest of the family? My cousin. Harper and Charlotte's cousin. She lived with the girls after her mama passed. Do you know Savannah? I did, once. And now? And now I don't. How did you meet Savannah? We went to the same bookstore. You don't seem like the type. I'll take that as a compliment and an insult. How long ago was this? A while. Gone now. It was a little old dark place. Carried these musty old books. Stuff that didn't exist anywhere else. What kind of stuff? All sorts. But I was there researching our family. Savannah had this way of reading. Like there was something she needed to know real bad. One day I finally asked, What is it you need to know so bad? You know what she said? What? Nothing. She handed over the book she was reading and walked out. At first, I'm feeling a touch rejected. But then I look at the book. What was the book? That was the crazy thing. It was the Thornton family book of names. Births, deaths, marriage, and so on, going way back. Why would she have that? Why, indeed. I had to know. Took me some doing, but I tracked her down. So you met Savannah because she was trying to find Charlotte's ghost? One of those people who met her was Savannah. Ask her, and maybe she'll tell you about it. After that, she became obsessed with Thornton Hall. We got to know each other. I fell for her like a Black Tuesday banker. In the end, the landing was just as rough. You said you were researching the family. Why? After Charlotte died, that's when something I always knew came out shining so bright, I finally had to admit it. Long as it's been growing, the Thornton family tree's been split down the middle. The evil roots always trying to strangle out the good. I used to think I was on the side of good. And now? What do you think? Maybe you're not. Maybe you're right. What did you mean about the family being split in two? You wouldn't know by looking around here. Seeing the state we're in. But we're loaded. What's that have to do with anything? 
The Thornton family bought its money with blood, and not always our own. And you think one part of the family had more to do with this than the other? I don't speak ill of the dead, especially not when they're staring up at the soles of my boots. Look around. You'll see. Does anyone actually live here? No one lives out on the island, but just on the shore. Were you close to Jessalyn? Everyone was. Everyone is. She's the bright spot of happiness in this whole miserable family. Goodbye. Later. Well, let's go look at that package real quick before we do anything else in the cemetery. This must be the book. <gasps> oh crap. that it was a ghost dummy that's done okay well maybe i can get into it now no oh this is an emf reader so yeah okay well let's go back out to the cemetery Shoot, I went too far. Want to hear a ghost? Check it out. Do people really come here trying to meet Charlotte's ghost? Around the time Charlotte's ghost was driving the family away, the stories started to spread. Little kids around here started playing this game to scare themselves silly. They'd turn off the lights and say, Fire so red, night so black. Dear sweet Charlotte, please come back. Over and over again until they'd just about scare themselves to death. It was just a game, but that's when people started jumping the fence at night hoping to meet her, saying that same silly rhyme. Most had just come and go in peace, but the ones who found her, it messed them up real good. A couple even went into shock. I saw something I can't explain in the house. That's why you couldn't get me in there for nothing. I don't believe in ghosts, but... That don't stop you from feeling them. Would you believe my happiest memories live in that house? Christmases and long summer nights stargazing on the roof. Have you always been a ghost hunting enthusiast? I'm not exactly enthusiastic about the dead, no offense meant, but yes. I do find it interesting. Why? Life is a quest for truth, is it not? And death has a way of stripping away all pretensions. That's pretty philosophical for a guy wearing boots. You northerners don't have a lock on big thinkers. We got plenty. Like Roscoe J. Redbrook and the Gimble Tucky Boys. And I dare you to say their lyrics don't equal those of the Greek poets. And we got that old guy with the white suit and the chickens. Point is, I like ghosts because they show me what is, not what I want to see. And wearing boots don't make you stupid. Makes you smart, if it's muddy. I'd better get going. Bye. Okay, I don't want to click on any tombstones yet because we need that information for later. It's locked. Well, I wanted to go... Okay, creepy.
No need to jump, just me. Can you tell me about some of these stones? I'll tell you what I can. But sometimes it's best to just look and listen. I'm pretty sure these were the ones that were in. Did that? Yep, okay. Let's talk to Wade if he has anything else to say, and then let's go see if that phone is charged. Hi there. I found a set of graves without names on the markers. That is where our troubles began. What happened? Most of the family would rather it never come up. Our first factory was right here on the island. At the time, it made us a lot of money. But along the way, we got greedy. Never built a place for the workers to stay. They'd bed down right on the processing floor. Nothing for heat in the winter, so the workers built fires inside. One winter, there was a wicked cold snap. They built a couple of extra big fires, and in the night, the fumes built up. None of them ever woke up again. That's when we split in two. Half saying this will never happen again, and half saying accidents happen. Grieve and move on. Do you have a key to the crypts? Sorry. When did the factory accident happen? That was more than a hundred years ago, and we still can't move on. That's why this house still stands, I think. Until we Thorntons decide who we're gonna be, we're stuck on this island. You should see it on a summer day when the ocean and the sky are sharing the same blue and the grass is bright. But here it is, gray and dark, under all the misery we've heaped upon it. You don't seem like a bad guy. Can you tell me why you ended up in jail? You really want to know? I do. Then listen. I don't care if you believe me, but keep this to yourself. Okay. I wasn't close to the company then. Still ain't, but... I heard through a friend of the guy down the way, you know how it goes. I heard that our processing plant in town was up to its old tricks. Hiring people who couldn't afford to quit, and treating them beyond bad. Locking them in to meet quotas and such. I asked Clara. She denied, naturally. But it made her so mad, I asked. I had to go check it out myself. I went in the middle of the night, and right away I saw it was true. The exit was padlocked, right in plain view of the world, and no one cared. I broke in. That's true. I was furious. I broke one of the big machines. That's true, too. So there it is. I stood up, and boy, did I get knocked down. You must be pretty mad at Clara. You don't even know the half of it. I'd better get going. Adios. Okay, let's go see if that phone is charged now. <laughs> Creepy. That sounds like it's coming from upstairs. Uh oh. Looks like I'm gonna have to go upstairs in a second. Hmm, looks like I need to figure out the password. Let's go upstairs real quick. Make yourself blind. Call Charlotte home. I need to figure out what this means. Uh, I thought there'd be another ghost here or something. Okay, I'm trying to think. Um, maybe her friend knows how to get into her phone. Yeah? Can you help me figure out Jessalyn's password? No. Actually, wait. Hang on. The tombstone portion of our scavenger hunt? There was something strange about it. Can you think of a reason she would hide her password there? 
just in case something happened to her. I thought she said that to scare me, but maybe not. Goodbye. Bye. Scavenger hunt. Okay. This is why I didn't want to click on any of the tombstones yet, because we need to go and listen to Wade talk at each tombstone. W means word, and L means letter, so we need to just figure this out, and then we can get into her phone. That's Charlotte. Dear sweet Charlotte, please come back. That's a sad inscription. It was a sad time. None of us wanted to see her leave. We didn't expect it to become what it's become. Beauregard Thornton. Mean old codger. <laughs> That's it. Okay. Luther, my daddy. Mama called him the king of slamming doors. He had a hot temper, but a soft heart, and no mind for business. He was an intuitive. He brought me out here to the stones at night. Taught me how to open my eyes, shut up, and listen. You rest well, Daddy. Virginia, my mother. Rest her soul. Can you tell me anything about her? Just that I miss her, and I always will. This blank one is my favorite. Why is that? Well, who doesn't want a celebrity in the family? Especially one that rubs all the wrong people the wrong way. The Gray Lady. In the Civil War, they say she was a spy, passing codes for the North. If you look, you can find some of her contraptions here. Her service gave the Thornton family this land. Harper Stone. Harper? Indeed. She ran away shortly after Charlotte died. Long enough that we thought we'd lost her too. One day she walked in the front door looking wild and thin as a spring sapling. Never said where she was. Her granddaddy was so mad he left the stone to remind her of what she'd put them through. She'd sit out there and read. Don't know if it was spite or if it made her feel at home. Knowing her, probably both. That there is Clara's mother. What can you tell me about her? Not a great deal. She loved her secrets. Never even told Clara who her daddy was. Why not? Don't know. When Clara was about ten, Rosalie got real sick. Every day Clara would ask about her daddy. I think she was afraid of being left to fend for herself. But Rosalie wouldn't say. Roger and Marie, side by side from the day they married to the day they died. Both real sweet. Charlotte and Harper's parents. May they rest in peace. I don't think I need to click on these again. 